just a number. After that, you have chances. Age is just a number. After that, there is hope. What do you do about things that you have no control about? There is nothing much you can do. You will worry. You will stress yourself. You will keep on thinking about it. To a point it will start draining you. To a point it will start taking away your peace. But at the end of the day, imagine there is nothing you can change. There is nothing you can do. It, it will still remain the way it is. So why bother yourself with things that you have no control about? No matter how much you stress yourself, no matter how much you try to figure them out, let us just agree. There are some things that are beyond us. There are some things that we don't have control over. There are some things that we cannot change. And what do we do about them? They are there, yes. They might be stressing us up, yes. But we don't have control above them. We don't have control over them. What do we do about them? We just leave them to God. I know it is not easy. You know, the, there is this song that says, I surrender all to God. Sometimes we sing it as just a song. Like the way we just do other songs and we enjoy a lot. But let me tell you, if you sit down and think about it, surrendering all to God. Do you know how hard it is? Imagine without the grace of God, you cannot make it. That means anything, even the tiniest details of your life that sometimes stress you, you leave them to God. Leaving them to God means you just take them to God and leave them there. You know, instead of worrying about them, instead of always thinking about them, why don't you take that time to worship God? This is even to me. It is not easy. One day I sat down and I was like, this and this and this is stressing me up. This and this is, this is eating me up. This and this, maybe this person or these people, they are st stressing me up. But again, I don't have control over them. I can't force things on them. I can't force them to be the people that I want to see. So what do I do about them? I just take them to God. I just pray about them. I just pray about the things that they are stressing me. Sometimes it's hard. You can pray and still feel like ah, this burden is still on my shoulders. You know, nowadays there is something I usually do and this has really helped me. If I feel like something is discouraging me because I've been praying about it and it's, like, it's not like it's like the prayers, it's like it's not working. It's like things are not working the way I want. It's like things are not going the way I'm expecting. It is like things are not going the way I've been praying for, the way I've been trusting God for. One thing I've learned to do is that time that I was using to worry and to cry to God all the time about it, to just worship. This has really, really helped me. You can never worship a miss. That's what I believe. Maybe I can pray a miss. Maybe you can pray a miss, but you can never worship a miss. When you start, you, you decide to worship God, when you decide to lift God, when you decide to take that time that you are taking to think, you know, stress comes to us when most of the times when we are idle, when we are doing nothing, when we are saying, let's now relax. That is when it hits pop. That is when the things that you have been struggling with comes into your mind. If you take that time, if you decide that from today, this time, this moment, these hours that I've been thinking about this thing, this time that I've been stressing myself, I will be using it to worship. Even if it's to put the worship songs and to just sing. Even if it's to worship as you, as you pray. If you decide that, believe you me. With no time, this thing will fade away. The fear will fade away. The stress will fade away. The things that are discouraging will fade away. Sometimes I wonder, imagine a life without God. Imagine life without prayers. How can it be? 
But at least, let us take advantage of the fact that God is there with us. We don't need to book an appointment with him. We don't need to pass through people. You know, sometimes when you want to see or to meet someone senior, you have to go through people. You have to book appointments. You have sometimes to wait and wait and, and wait. But with God, any time, any time you call him, he's always, he's always there ready to answer. The answer might not be the way you are expecting. The answer might not come soon the way you need it. Shama, the way as a human being you expect. But the fact is, he is there. He is listening. He is waiting. So it's upon you to make this decision. Sometimes the worries of this world, they take us away from this moment. They take us away from this, this they take us away from, they make us forget. They take us away from this space that we should be in. The space of trusting God. The space of just worshipping when things are tough. The space of trusting in him even when it doesn't make sense. Because sometimes things happen and you are like, I God, I keep for the uko. Are you still there? Are you still listening to me? Do you even care about what is happening with my life? Hmm? Are you even concerned about the things that are happening in my life? What do you want with my life? Yes, every person, every human get, every human being gets to this point to ask himself or herself so many questions, to wonder whether God is still aware, to wonder whether God still hears our prayers, to wonder whether God's, God is still concerned about us. But let me tell you, if you take your time, calm down, cool down, and decide, God, now this is between me and you. I believe and I believe. And you have said in your word that you are faithful, that you will never leave me, despite the situation, despite the, how, how things look like, despite how life is looking like, despite how this moment is like, despite how I'm feeling right now as if you are no longer there i believe and i choose to believe that you are there that you are aware that you know me that you understand better that you know the beginning that you know the end from the beginning i choose to believe in this i know it is hard it is hard god but i choose to believe in this believe in me he will encourage you he will give you strength he will hold your heart. He will be there for you. It will just be just a matter of time. And at the end of the day, you'll come to realize, you'll come to understand things. You know, sometimes I look back in the Bible and I wonder, imagine if you are the one that God told you to sacrifice your son after waiting for so, so, so long. And then God tells you, I want a sacrifice and it is your son. As, as a human being right now, sometimes I ask myself question, what could have I done? <laughs> you know, I could be like, I, I, I even don't know. By the way, I, I think I could have said that is not the voice of God. I could have said that that, that is the voice of the enemy. But you see, the relationship between this man and God was very tight, was very clear. It was very tight to a point that he knew the voice of God very clear. Even... If this information sounded like weird, but he knew this was the voice of God. And he believed, despite how much I love this son of mine, despite how many years I waited to have this child, this is the voice of God. I believe he understands better and I will do it. Even if it is painful, even if I'm... It's a confusing thing. Even if I don't know how to explain to my wife, to other people, to my family later. But I know this is God. I know he has a plan. I know he, is, he, he knows, he understands why he is telling me to do this. Wow, this just challenges me. I don't know. I, I, I think I'm not yet to that point. I think most of us, we are not yet to that point. The point that we can be able to distinguish the, the, the voice of God and other voices despite how stressing or how uncomfortable it might be for us. Hmm? So this evening I just want to encourage you with something. I just want to let you know, to, to tell you that, uh, I just want to tell you that uh, imagine God is aware of everything. Even that situation you feel like 
it is shameful to inform him. Even that situation you feel like you have prayed for it for so long. Even that situation you feel like it is not worthy to take it before him. He is aware of it. He is very, very aware of it. And he is waiting for you to mention it to him. He is waiting for you to trust in him. He is waiting for you to believe in him. He is waiting for you to let him take the wheel and lead your life. You know, sometimes we fight for ourselves so much, so, 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 so much. We want to do things with our own strength, with our own power. And the Bible is very clear. Our battles, they are spiritual. I just want to encourage you this evening. Imagine he is aware. He knows you. He knows you by your name. He knows everything about you. He is the best Afraid that will never disappoint you. He is the best gift that you can never have. And he has given us the Holy Spirit to guide us, to lead us. He has never left us. He will never leave us. It is us who move steps back from him. The Holy Spirit is very gentle. He can never force things on us. He can never force to hear us. He can never force us to hear him. But if we move closer to God, if we give him that chance, if we we'll allow him to be in our lives, if we leave everything to him, he will guide us, he will lead us, he will change our lives to a way that we will not even believe it, to a way that we have never even imagined. So this evening, I want to encourage you, let God be. I want to challenge you. You have really tried on your own. You have tried on your own. You have struggled on your own. You have pushed on your own to a point you are getting tired. And this is because you even took his position in your life. You have your position. He has his position in your life. Let God be. Allow him to be in your life. Let him take the wheel let him lead you and to be sincere you'll never be disappointed you'll never be ashamed because he will always be there for you he will guide you he will lead you even in the tiniest details of your life may god bless you so much and enjoy your week for now bye bye until next time